Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am the Meta. I hope you've had a good week, and I am so glad to have you with me this morning. It is my desire that we grow together and be what God wants us to be. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for your word today. It is a lamp unto our a light into our path. Amen. It helps us to be what you want us to be. You left it for us through Jesus, the manifested word, and we give you praise. I ask God that you would touch those who are suffering with the COVID this day and have been suffering for a while. I pray God that you will bring deliverance to the drug addict, that you will be, bring healing to others that are sick, that are troubled, because of the situation that they are living in and because of the situation of our world right now. God, we give you praise and glory and honor. We lift ourselves unto you, our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings, our desires, and we place them in your hands, God, for we know you know how to take care of your people, and we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, open our eyes to understand this particular scripture and what it has for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to share some scriptures about having a filtered mind. Amen. A filtered mind. Praise God. Having the word of God filter our mind. It is a process, this filter, in order to reject those things unwanted. There are many times I have said things I wish I had not said. Amen. Because I was, my mind was not filtered with the word of God. God wants us to teach in meekness. He calls us to be gentle in 2 Timothy 2 and 23. The more we know God's word and it is in our hearts, we can better show meekness and gentleness. As I listen to the voices of people and look back over some of the things I said, I wish I had been more gentle. Often I could hear anger, depression, or even frustration in my voice or in the voice of others. How does filters get so messed up? Well, Psalms 1 kind of tells us some about how it happens. Listen to what it says in Psalms 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in it doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that shall bring forth fruit in due season. <laughs> Amen. Often our filters are filled with the words of ungodly people. We're around them all the time. We hear them and they speak into our lives. Those ungodly people deny that there is a God or they say, uh, it's not for me. They just plainly ignore the word of God. Yet Jesus said, Every man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. When the devil tried to get him to turn stones into bread, in Matthew 4 and 4, Jesus used the filtered word of God. The ungodly are very good in trying to get us to do ungodly things. For instance, marijuana is illegal. And they will tell us, well, after all, God made it. And we start thinking that God did and forget that we are supposed to follow the laws of the land as well, which says it's illegal. If our filters have been messed up, we answer or will not answer, but go along with the thought. And Paul told us in Timothy to ignore foolish questions because they gender strife. To ungodly, we are foolish. We have to work with the ungodly, but we do not have to 
use their train of thoughts. We need our minds filtered with the word of God. Amen. So that we can just walk away. <laughs> in Psalms 1, it also says, do not stand in the way of sinners. We are all sinners saved by grace. We were sinning and falling short of the glorious standards of God. Romans 3 and 23. Yet God freely makes us right in his sight. Amen. Glory to God who is faithful to his word. And we do not have to stand in the way of the ones who are trying to find him. So how do we stand in their way? Well, one is by living and thinking we are better than they are. And when I say that, I mean those who have not accepted Christ when we stand in their way. We stand in their way when our mouths are full of cussing and bitterness, when we run to gossip, when our minds are filtered with the Word of God and the Holy Spirit brings to the remembrance the Word of God, we will not stand in the way of sinners. We want them to receive Jesus Christ. In the last point from Psalms, do not sit in the seat of the scornful. <laughs> you ever been in the seat of a scornful and wish you hadn't gone there that day? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's look at that word scornful. Scornful. One who openly expresses looking down on others, mocking people, one who's always talking about what she don't like and what she won't take, or he. <laughs> to sit with them will often cause you to be depressed and to say, like I said before, I wish I had not come here today. When looking at the meanings of the words ungodly, sinner, and scornful closely, we can understand why we need our mind filtered with the word of God. Why God causes, causes you blessed if you do not do these things. Amen. But you know what? Not only are we blessed, hallelujah. We, the word says, are planted. We will be planted. Amen. Like a tree by the rivers who bring forth fruit in due seasons. And whatever we put our hands to do, glory to God will prosper. We will prosper in the things of God. We will prosper in the, our lives and in the lives of others. Amen. We will have a word in season. Amen. Have you ever been around somebody who is supposed to be speaking in your life? And you're going, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Amen. But we want to have a word in season. Father, we just thank and praise you for Psalms 1 and what it shows us how to keep our mind filtered by the word of God. And we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. Stay distancing, please. Keep your mask on. This pandemic is not over. But we know that God knows how to take care of his people, right? And so I'm going to continue to play this song. Amen. Be blessed and highly favored. Lord willing, I'll see you on Monday. Sorry I was late getting one out. <laughs>